What's up guys and welcome to a new video. So today we're going to cover my Bone Spear Critical Strike Necromancer. This is going to be a leveling guide from 1 to 50 and it will help you smash through all of those levels with no problems whatsoever. I did this in just about a day. I'm actually uh, level 48 right now currently and already in World Tier 3. I was able to defeat the Capstone level 50 dungeon at level 45. That just shows you how strong this build is. In this guide, we're going to cover the abilities and how exactly they work, the aspects that you will need that you are able to obtain from the Codex of Power. We'll briefly go over the skill tree and which skills you will use for the build. Then at the end, I will show you a bit of gameplay of me actually defeating the final boss in the level 50 capstone dungeon. If you guys end up enjoying this video or it's helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and a sub. Also guys, I'm trying to hit 5,000 subs, so if you can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, let's get right into it. Let's start off by briefly going over the abilities that we're going to use, and then I'll show you exactly how they work. First we have Bone Spear, which is going to be our bread and butter. This is our main damage output. It does huge damage, and we do a lot of critical strike damage with this build, as far as we have tons of critical strike chance. Um, by end game, we'll probably be capped on crit chance. Next off, we have Bone Splinters. This is going to be what you'll start out with from level 1. Your damage output at first till you get into Bone Spear, um, and this is also going to be our resource generator. Corpse Explosion, pretty self-explanatory. Corpse Tendrils, we're going to use this to draw enemies in, put them onto a pack. Um, and as well, uh, this also slows them, which is a crowd control effect, and it applies vulnerable to them. We're going to use Bone Storm. The main reason we use Bone Storm is it gives us a boost of 20% increased critical strike chance while it's active. And then we also use Blood Mist as a basically get out of jail free card um, makes us go immune if we're in a tight spot and we can get out of you know any tight circumstance with it so we'll go quickly out here and I'll show you how they synergize together my horse feels like going there we go if we can find us a pack of enemies now keep in mind guys I am level 48 right now and I'm already in world tier 3 I beat the uh, capstone dungeon at level 50 Early on, I was only level 45, and it calls for level 50, so that just shows you the strength of this build. Uh, let's see, I'll get these enemies together real quick. I'll briefly show you how this works. So you want to get the enemies together kind of like so. I kill one of them. Corpse tendrils, it'll suck all the enemies in. One bone spear, or two bone spears. Then you just clean them up with corpse explosion. Super simple. Now, obviously, you won't always have the uh, Bone Storm, so, you know, don't worry about that. Use it when you can or on bosses, whatever. Harder packs, but... I mean, this is World Tier 3, like I said, guys, and I'm only level 48. You know, it's 53 plus right here, and I have no problems already as it is. But let's get into the rest of the build. Now, we will briefly cover the gear and the aspects that you're going to use for the build. Now, keep in mind, guys, that all of these aspects right here, you can actually get right here in your Codex of Power. And if you have any trouble finding an aspect or where it is, what dungeon to complete to get it, basically you find the aspect in here and you can actually right click on one that you don't have and it will go to that aspect on the map for you, show you the exact dungeon. So anyways, back into the gear and the aspects. Uh, starting off up in the helm, this is what I'm wearing right here. I'm only going to cover the aspects that you pretty much want to have during this leveling process. So here in the chest, this is one of the aspects that you want to have. This is the aspect of disobedience. Uh, basically, it gives us armor, stacks our armor, and that's the best defense in this uh, in this game in Diablo 4. So you want to go for that. On your gloves, try to get ranks to Bone Spear. By the way, guys, on all of your gear, you want to try to get crit chance, crit damage, vulnerable damage, um, physical damage, because we're pretty much all physical. You know, uh, bone, dam bone skill damage, whatever you can find as far as damage that goes for the build. Uh, let's see down here into the pants this is what i'm wearing for the pants just have a barrier on them um here's the boots that i'm wearing trying to get movement try to get movement speed on your boots uh the necromancer is a little bit slow but movement speed anywhere you can get it is good energy cost reduction stats down into your weapon i'd say go for a two-handed weapon that's really strong and then you want to get the uh aspect of grasping veins right here this is definitely one that you want to have it's in the codex of power um, it boosts your crit chance and while uh, Corpse Tendrils is up, and also it gives you more crit damage. So it's really important that it boosts our overall damage with our critical strike 
um, bone spear overall. We're going to come up here into the necklace. Now up here, this is the other aspect that you definitely want to have with the build. Once you guys hit 25, by the way, that's when you can go to your and get your aspects. Um, bone spear's primary attack makes enemies vulnerable. Enemies hit beyond the first vulnerable for 2.3 seconds. Bone shards from bone spear deal 88% bonus damage to vulnerable enemies. This makes your bone spear a lot stronger overall and may, helps you clear with it a lot easier. But you definitely want to get this as soon as you can. We're going to come down here. Now, on the rings, these are also aspects from the Codex of Power. Just trying to help with uh, energy a little bit if you guys wanted to get these. On your rings, once again, look for crit strike, crit damage, vulnerable damage, um, bone, you know, bone scale damage, whatever damage you can find for the build. That's pretty much covering it for the uh, gear guys and... What you will need as far as gear, try to get those certain aspects. You'll have no problem getting from 1 to 50. We will now go into the Book of the Dead. For the Book of the Dead, and then when it comes to your summons, you don't want any of your summons. You're going to sacrifice all of them. Right here, we're going to sacrifice these guys, the skirmishers, and get 5% critical strike chance. Right here in the mages, we're going to sacrifice them right here and get 15% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. Down here into the golem, we're going to sacrifice the uh, iron golem down here and make it to where we deal 30% increased critical strike chance. We don't want to get any summons from 1 to 50. They are a little bit weak. I went with this uh, bone spear build. It's super strong. Just goes right through everything it's super fast. You know, and you could run this build that I'm showing you today um, till 50 to get you up to there and then go summons or whatever route you wanted to. But this, in my opinion, is the quickest by far. So now we will briefly go into the skill tree. Um, up here, like I said, with bone splinters, you want to get this early on. You can put as many points into it in the very beginning as you want until you're able to get down here into bone spear. Once you do get into bone spear, though, you're going to bring it back down to one point. And this is basically going to be to uh, generate our resource, not really do heavy damage. Our main damage dealer is going to be right here in our core skills. It's going to be bone spear, guys. This skill is awesome. I mean... It does, does tons of damage. We're going to come back here into Enhanced Bone Spear. And then over here into Paranormal Bone Spear. Now, we also are going to want to get Hued Flesh. Um, basically, it spawns corpses uh, at targets that we shoot at and stuff. We will be using Corpse Explosion a lot. We want to try to get that. Um, maybe not super early on, but probably about, let's say, halfway to 50. You want to come back and get this at some point. You don't want to get one into Blood Mist. This is just our, you know emergency uh hit it and get out of a bad situation skill um eventually i'm gonna go probably with the next couple points back here into uh enhanced blood mist and then uh right here into uh ghastly blood mist to leave corpses behind every second uh or here we're gonna get corpse explosion you want to max that out as soon as you're able to get to it after maxing out bone spear then we're gonna come back in here into enhance for more area of effect and also plagued corpse explosion Basically, it makes it deal more damage to vulnerable enemies or stunned enemies. Down into our curse skills. We're not going to take any curses from 1 to 50. Um, we are going to get Death's Embrace. This is uh, less damage to us and more damage to the close enemies. We're going to grab Death's Reach at some point also. 12% um, increased damage to distant enemies. Now, before even getting any of those, though, you're going to want to get down in here into uh, your Corpse and Macabre and get Corpse Tendrils. This was super important, like I showed you guys in the beginning. This groups up the enemies, stuns them for a long period of time, slows them down, makes them vulnerable. Really important. We're going to come back and get Enhanced Corpse Tendrils and Plagued Corpse Tendrils. We're going to come down here or get our ultimate, which is going to be Bone Storm, and then get the two behind it, um, Prime and Supreme, for the 20% increased critical strike chance. Um, down here for our passive, we're going to get Ossified Essence, which is a Bone Essence uh gonna boost our bone damage so you know we don't want to go with blood or any of these other ones like the shadow blight or the uh this one for the summons obviously we're not a summoning build from one to 50 right here so this will be our choice right here and then also you're gonna want after that pretty much start filling all these in crit chance um crit damage down here uh you know damage to vulnerable which we're always making enemies vulnerable with the uh bone spear which is nice um, you know, more damage over here, like, and then also right here, this is really important. You want to get Memento Mori, 
Um, this basically sacrificing both skeletal warriors and skeletal mages increases their sacrifice bonus by 60%. So, you know, back in our Book of the Dead where we sacrifice, that's going to boost our sacrifice. There will be a link to this build down in the description if you guys are interested or want to see it that way. So hopefully this guide has been helpful. It's going to make it to where you fly from 1 to 50 in no time whatsoever. Um, if there's anything you think I missed that you would change, whatever, let me know down in the comments, guys. Don't forget to like and sub. I'm going to leave you with uh, gameplay of the uh, Capstone Dungeon boss, the level 50 boss, where I defeated it at 45. This build is super strong. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.